Do you always wonder how some players are able to control recoil so easily? I get asked this all the time on my streams and in my videos. The natural explanation for many is that I am using a mouse and keyboard or anti-recoil mods. Additionally, as I and many others also use a high sensitivity, then those accusations are even more so. Very few streams go by without someone saying I am a mouse and keyboard user or asking if I use a controller or a mouse and keyboard. Others try to be more subtle and ask if I can show them my settings on stream to see if my settings resemble those of a mouse and keyboard user. Some are genuine in asking, so that's why I have commands to show my settings, but many are not. When some players see something they cannot understand or are incapable of doing themselves, their ego takes over. It tells them that they are the best and it won't allow them to entertain the thought that others are better than they are with the same input device. However, most are simply unaware how properly optimized settings can really help recoil control and this I can help you with in this video. Egotistical and arrogant people, I cannot help you. Now, before you think you've heard this all before, I promise you you have not. Not like this you haven't. This isn't a settings video. There are many of those about. What it will do is give you a better knowledge and understanding of how recoil works in this game. It won't make you great overnight. However, it will aid you in limiting visual recoil and controlling it. Most players that find it difficult to control recoil use a low sensitivity in either the default field of view or a low field of view. This automatically makes it harder for you to control recoil compared to myself. In fact, if you play with a really low sensitivity, for example 20 or 30, then it's nearly impossible to control recoil, especially if your field of view is also low. Let me explain and show you why this is the case. I am going to demonstrate what visual recoil looks like with my settings and then also with the default game settings. Here are the important settings I play with for the purposes of this video. Firstly, soldier stick sensitivity is set at 100% and aim down sight sensitivity is at 200%. So now you can see why I get a ton of mouse and keyboard accusations. But what people don't realise is that I have uniform soldier aiming turned off, which drastically reduces your sensitivity. Let's take a look at it. Here's me using my normal sensitivity settings with uniform soldier aiming turned off. Side to side is quite smooth. I'm doing this as quickly as I can. Now here it is with it on. Huge difference isn't there? This here with it on is pretty much uncontrollable. I used to play 100 soldier stick sensitivity and 125 ADS sensitivity with uniform soldier aiming turned on in Battlefield 1 and that was actually faster than what I am currently using in Battlefield 5. In Battlefield 5 I also adjust individual scope sensitivities so that is why uniform soldier aiming needs to be off also. You should not change these with uniform soldier aiming on as it warns in the settings. I do this because I find the sensitivity that I use for times one sites too fast when using times three scopes and likewise when using times three scopes compared to times six I find that too fast so I need to adjust them individually. I play with ADS field of view on also. This is the difference it makes. It does not zoom in as much when aiming down sight. This aids in limiting visual recoil. The only difference shown here is that one is on and the other is off. My field of view is set at 105 horizontal which is quite high for the comparison, I'm going to use the default settings, which are as follows. Default soldier stick sensitivity is 20% and aim down sight sensitivity is 100%. Field of view is set at 75 horizontal and ADS field of view is off. So let's go to the test range and get this comparison started. I'm going to use the storm gewehr with the times three sight. I am not going to control recoil at all, just shoot. And then have a look at the bullet trajectories. Be aware though, the initial shots disappear as new shots are made, which will be important to remember later on for the comparison. So there's the spread of the shots. Now let's go have a look at the visible recoil side on. Next, the default game settings with no recoil control. As before, there's the spread and here is a visible recoil. Now let's compare them. As you can see, it is clear and apparent that the default settings visible recoil is worse. 
which means it is likely to be harder to control. I call it visible recoil for a reason. The recoil is exactly the same. Do not think the recoil numbers are different. It is the same, but when the field of view is higher and the ADS field of view is turned on, it is less visible on your screen. You can also see this in the side comparison. The default settings have more visible recoil and to show you that it is only visible and not different number wise, let's pick a marker on screen. We will use this as a marker. They have the exact same trajectory. So we have established so far that a higher field of view and an ADS field of view on helps produce less visible recoil. So what can affect and aid recoil control? Here is my very first attempt at controlling full auto fire using my sensitivity settings. I pretty much hit the target with every shot barring a few at the beginning which have now disappeared. Next my very first attempt at default settings. I started that poorly, I stopped halfway. The first few shots went above the target and I then tried to compensate and pulled down too hard on the sticks. It felt so weird I must admit. So I had to practice for the next 5 to 10 minutes and then did this. The initial indications show that it wasn't that bad. A few shots missed, but many hits. Well. Let's look back at the very start in slow motion. So many misses when I first started firing. Then I was able to control the recoil from the middle of the clip to the end. So I decided to compare the initial recoil control between my settings and the default settings. So here's a recoil control using my settings during the initial shots. Not so bad, it looks like I missed only two shots. Here's the default settings initial recoil control. Nowhere near as good. Quite a few misses there. So not only does a higher field of view and an ADS field of view on help with reducing visible recoil, a higher sensitivity also seems to help with controlling it, especially during the initial few shots which are going to be the most important shots during an engagement. You want to hit your first few to give you the better chance of winning that gunfight. I can hear many of you saying, well, of course I won't be as good at controlling it because I'm not used to those low settings. And you would be right. Look at my very first attempt. It was horrendous. However, let me explain why a higher sensitivity produced better recoil control and why it could be worthwhile for you to try it out in addition to upping your field of view and turning on ADS field of view if you do not have it on already. When we begin a gunfight and try to control recoil, we have to pull down on the right control stick. The more vertical recoil a gun has, the more you have to pull down on the stick to counter this recoil, especially in sustained fire. Additionally, a low stick sensitivity combined with a low field of view requires this pull down to be even greater and done quicker due to more movement required in the same amount of time. A player using a higher sensitivity, however, does not need to pull down on the right stick as much, and when they do pull down, it can be much more gradual. This is because there is much more movement and a shorter amount of time when the stick is pulled. Because the pull down is more gradual and under control, you are also less likely to move the stick left or right, which could put you off target. Now please don't think you can change straight away and be great. It still requires practice, but you will have a better ability to control gun recoil in the long term. And these principles apply to any first person shooter games out there that allow you to change the field of view and allow you to change your sensitivities. In this final clip I am going to show you how I fire during an engagement. At this type of engagement distance I always tap fire. Up until now I have just been doing full auto on all clips. Due to my high field of view, which reduces visible recoil, and my higher sensitivity, which helps me control recoil, I hit every single shot.
The telltale sign that someone is using an anti-recoil mod is that there is not only very little vertical recoil, but horizontal recoil is gone also. Take a look at the damage shown. You cannot control this horizontal recoil, but mods can compensate for it. Before I go, I will briefly mention a few other settings that can help you out. Stick dead zones can be changed higher or lower. If you find you are the type of player that gently pulls in the stick at the beginning and are not getting the response you want, so pull faster and harder to control the recoil and that puts you off target, decrease the dead zone. That means when you pull at the start, you get the movement you want, so you no longer have to pull hard. Another new feature is the XY ratio sensitivities. I would only change these if you find nothing else works and as a last resort. I messed around with them and it just felt weird. Basically, if you want, you can change the Y ratio so that the vertical sensitivity only is greater. In theory, vertical recoil can be controlled easier, but I personally found I end up pulling down too much during gunfights to counter recoil or I over aimed when going for headshots. So that's it folks. I hope I have given you a better understanding on how some people have great recoil control and how you too could improve it. If you enjoyed the video, please share it, retweet it and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching folks, I'll catch you again in the next video or stream.